Hi dear student, uh, I am Dr. Maksud Mahmood. Today I will deliver a lecture on the topic, the responsible use of AI. Uh, in this lecture, I will cover three main learning domains, that is knowledge domain, skills and value domain. The outline of my presentation would be as follows. I will begin with the introduction of AI, followed by the responsible AI, uh, some concepts of ethical challenges of the AI, uh, different elements of the AI, and then some example from Google Vertex. As you already might know about the AI, that what AI is basically, AI is basically enables machines to think like human. It inculcates the learning process in machines and problem solving. So the examples ranges from uh, fun games to the critical medical diagnosis. Now there is a popular myth that uh, AI is infallible, which is absolutely wrong because human makes mistakes, so as the AI also. So we can infer that AI is not infallible indeed. To build the case for uh, responsible AI, I would like to bring your attention to certain risks that is associated with artificial intelligence. These are security challenges, privacy violations, deep fakes, which is now very much popular, algorithmic based data, bad data, socio-economical inequality, market volatility, and the last but not the least, weapons atomization. So now this Thing, uh, let me um, uh, introduce to the very important topic that is called responsible AI. So what is a responsible AI? Basically, responsible AI is not a product, but it's a process to inculcate ethical behaviors into the designing phase, development phase, and to the deployment phase. So if we have all this in the AI system, then we will empower employees and businesses and impact customers and society and we will allow to engender the trust among the businesses and scale ai confidence there is a popular concept of uh, technological singularity which tells about a hypothetical future point that technologies lead us to the point which is uncontrollable and irreversible unforeseeable changes to the human civilization mark he talk about this one and he further connects the this singularity concepts with the frankston monster and to the transhumanism uh, what are the main challenges uh, with the ai so we see nowadays that biasness in decision making transparency issues uh, fairness in decision accountability privacy and uh, safety to the society so how to cover these challenges so we need a responsible ai in which we have we need to have ai principles ai practices ai, AI governance processes and rules regulations and ai tools so to check whether we are going in the right direction to the responsible ai or not so i give a practical example from google vertex gen ai studio so I request the Vertex AI to please generate a Python code uh, using NSH data set for UK and using the random forest. So I created a prompt with the different elements of my requirements. And then what I got it, I got a very sophisticated and functional code uh, using the deep learning sklearn. And then we, uh, and then it uploaded the uh, breast cancer data sets and it uh, split into the two the training and the testing part it applied the random forest it gave it gave me predictions over there and found the accuracy for me right and they use these sources now i test uh, with some um, code which is not ethical so i asked the google um, uh, vertex ai to write a code for me using the for hacking purpose so i wrote the prompt what i got i got that that it's illegal so it means that if google vertex ai is 
ethical they understand our ethical behavior so similarly in this in the society we also need some uh, ai applications which obeys all ethical measures uh, to have uh, to to transfer the humanity to a, a success and profitability and uh, beneficialness so summary so what's the summary we need technology which should not harm the humanity it should not injure the humanity it should not violate the international norms by having the surveillance and the last but not the least not violate the international laws and human rights and specifically animal rights so the take home message is that we need a system which is based on the shared commitment from designing phase to the deployment phase to have a better decision these are certain reference book the last is an interesting book for you these are the certain links for you if you have any question you can post on the blackboard discussion board thank you very much